Okay, I think I, cl I think I clicked go live. So, that means I might be online live right now here on the Planet Avenger Twitch channel. One moment. I didn't have any place for my wine. <laughs> so, before I go any further, could I please, please, please get a shout out from any, anybody in the chat room that you can both uh, see me and hear me before I go any further with this plaid cast, Twitch plaid cast. Oh, and we do have some people in the chat room already. Uh, uh, I mean, let me go back up. Was it last time that 4Gaming subscribed with Prime? If 4Gaming is back in the house this week, thank you for subscribing with Prime, 4Gaming. Now I'll get to BM Cog, first time chatter, BM Cog, who says, Am I first? BM Cog, you are first. And in my book, you're first at everything. <laughs> first time chatter from Sumble4, who says, I guess I am also here. Thank you, first time channel Sumble4. I really liked your brother Dumbledore, but Sumble4 is pretty good too. Uh, BM Cogback saying good evening, good evening to you. First time chatter from Anna Kalina. Anna Kalina, who says, yes, they can both see and hear me. Sumble for, so they can also see and hear me. Although Dumbledore can't, because Dumbledore died in the end. I was told that. I was told that back in the day. Uh, Huff Hannah is back in the hills. Well, welcome back, Hannah. Uh, BM Cog says, also a confirmation of seeing and hearing. First time chatter from Aiden P. 2023, who says, ye, as in con ye. <laughs> First time chatter from Sunny V, who says, education. I, I, I love it. <laughs> Whatever that means, just education. <laughs> A first time chatter from Anthony Merlin VT also saying hello. Hello to you, Anthony. Or Merlin, the wizard, whichever way you want to go with that. Uh, Sunny V says something along those lines. Another first time chatter from It's All Good 44. Man, I am with you, It's All Good. It is. Who says, hello, Professor Boyer, with an explanation point. Uh, I say, hello back. Uh, 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 it's all good with three explanation points. So excited for World Region. So am I. It's all good. First time chatter from Heyo. <laughs> Thanks for that shout out. Hey, yo. Uh, BM Cog says, which assignment was due tomorrow? I am at Newman right now trying to work on them all for this week. Good luck, BM Cog. The only thing due tomorrow is the first international movie of this semester, and it is called City of God. It is a almost three-hour movie, so I don't know if you're going to be watching that in the library and doing that quiz, but by all means, give it a go. In fact, BM Cog, uh, back in the day, if memory serves, the VT library not only streams that for free, but they have a DVD of that movie. If anybody even knows what that means. <laughs> so you could go check out the DVD if you have a computer that can play it. Although computers don't even play DVDs anymore. What's up with that? Thanks for nothing, Apple and Microsoft. Thanks for nothing, Bill Gates. Um, got rid of this DVD players and the CD-ROMs and all the computers. Um, so uh, BM Cog, only your uh, first international film is due tomorrow. And it is a doozy, by the way, called City of God. Has everybody already watched City of God? Everybody in the chat room have already watched that movie and done the quiz on it? Because it is a fantabulous film. First time chatter from Emily G, 2025. Good evening. It's so nice to meet you. So excited for World Regions. Thank you, Emily. Uh, Emily G, I'm excited to meet you, too. Uh, first time chatter from Gio Maro. Says, my prom sub is going to be used here in a couple weeks. Boom, boom, Gio Maro. I don't even know what prime sub means, but I, I feel like it must be something important. And now I see a star from one of my favorite, favorite uh, visitors to the Planet Avenger Twitch channel, Callista Malfoy, who subscribed at tier one. They're subscribed for 35 months. Welcome back, Callisto. As, as I always say to Callisto, give it back, Malfoy. That's two. 
We've already dropped two Hogwarts lines in the first two minutes of this podcast. Or that's not a podcast. This is just live online office hours. So welcome back, Callisto. Always great to give it back, Malfoy. First time chatter from Ballistic Hound. <laughs> that is a great screen name. Ballistic Hound says, hey, Mr. Boyer. I watched City of God today and found it really eye-opening and interesting. What did I just tell you 60 seconds ago, friends? That is a good movie. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Ballistic Hound. I hope you aced the quiz. If not, hit me up on email, and I'll make sure you ace the quiz. Uh, Sunny V says, can we get a crash course of the movie? Six minutes to do the quiz amps my blood pressure and makes me want to pee. <laughs> Uh, well, also, Sunny V, do read the instructions carefully because if you read the instructions carefully, I know this is the first film of the semester, so maybe you didn't read the instructions carefully. You might have just skipped over them and been like, well, I know i got to watch this movie and then go click on this quiz. There's actually an introduction video for every one of the films we use in this course. I give a five to ten minute introduction to the film. And... Or virtually all of them, I also do a post-film little spiel. Both the pre-game and the post-game that I do personally, and those the links are in the instructions, so you're supposed to click on the link to watch the pre-game, then watch the film, and then click on the link to watch the post-game. The pre- and post-games give you a lot of clues of what might be on the quiz. Uh, they certainly will give you a better understanding of the film going into it and going out of it. And anything that's in the pre and post games is par for the course as a possible quiz question. So be sure you read all the instructions for everything in this class, especially here at the beginning of the semester so you understand how it works, and go watch the pre and post videos in between, or I should say sandwiched between the film that you watch. And that will help you quite a bit. Okay, uh, Aiden, Aiden P. Uh, 2023 says, I would have watched the movie but math homework took six and a half hours well it's only eight o'clock at night the film quiz is not due till 1 p.m tomorrow you college kids don't sleep you got hours and hours of time a and p to watch that film tonight and get that quiz done uh, mostly i encourage people to watch this film because 99 percent of people who watch this film really like it they just really like the film I mean, I want you to get points and get an A and live uh, happily ever after. But more important for me is that uh, you watch a film that's really engaging and helps you learn about a place on planet Earth. You'll, you'll really enjoy it. I got a first time chatter from Hold, Holden Watching Twitch. Holden Watching Twitch. Okay, Holden. Uh, City of God, easy 10 out of 10. Bam. Thank you for that first time chat. Holden, Holden knows what's up. You only got the 10 out of the 10. BM Cog says, sweet, uh, he'll, they'll be in the public library until 2 a.m. watching that film. People will actually come up behind you and start watching it over your shoulder. It's just that good. Uh, Holden Watching says, wonderful film. Uh, thank you for backing up what I'm, uh, uh, what I'm putting out here. Uh, and uh, Plaid Katie points out, make sure you know the characters' names from the very first uh, uh, point of watching this film. And... Uh, for those of you that have already watched all this and already taken the quiz and already know what I'm getting ready to say, I love this film because what a lot of folks don't uh, uh, get uh, on their first viewing of this film is that the film is supposed to take place over decades, but in the exact same place. And it's very easy to not get that. Uh, because the neighborhood changes so rapidly in the 20 or so years that the uh, film takes place over. So again, uh, I mentioned this, I believe, in the post video for this, but I'm always fascinated by this film because it's almost like a, a, a time machine that shows you how rapidly the uh, greater environs of Rio de Janeiro developed since the 70s and 80s. It truly was a dusty backwater uh, at the beginning of the film when they're starting to build housing and then by the end of the film it, you'll feel like you're in Manhattan it's in the center of a really built up giant city 
it's supposed to be in the exact same place the entire time, the same hood with the same people living in the same hood. So I love it. It's very well put together film. Okay, but I'm already way behind as always. First time chatter from Love Bow 1313. Good screen name, Love Bow. Got my tongue pierced and watched City God to get through this healing process. <laughs> Thank you for the inside information, love, Bo. <laughs> Hopefully the healing is continuing and you're feeling better. Uh, by all means, uh, uh, send me a pic of the tongue ring. And I don't even know if that's some sort of harassment, but I'm like, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I want to appreciate the pain you're going through and, and your jewelry. So by all means, send me a picture. Uh, first time chatter from Halo Star Max saying, Hello. Should I be using my personal account for this or should I make a VT account? No, this is just for funsies. Uh, uh, good question, though, Halo. This uh, is uh, a Twitch, which many of you may already know about because of video games. Uh, this whole platform, I think, is still 90 or 95 or 99 percent video game players and watchers of video games. A phenomena that I still quite don't understand, but Again, I'm really old, so uh, when I was your, back in my time, back when I was a kid, you went to a place called an arcade to actually play video games. Okay, I understand technology has advanced, and I understand online, uh, the online world, and I get it that video games have gone online, and they're really fascinating that you can actually play with other people around the world, a video game online. Love it. I still don't quite understand the concept of watching someone else play a video game. But again, I'm old. That's okay. I don't need to understand everything. But to my knowledge, Twitch is a platform that most of the action here is millions and millions and millions of people watching other people play video games? Tell me I'm wrong, and that's fine, but that one's just a little hard for me to absorb and quite frankly understand. I like doing stuff. Uh, I watch TV, but I don't watch people watching TV. <laughs> so, it's a different world. I love it, by the way. Uh, but my whole point there is, uh, Halo Max, that this is just for online office hours. Uh, it's, there's no, I'm not gauging whether you're here or not. You don't have to check into this. Uh, there's no points associated, uh, specifically with coming here. Although I do sometimes randomly throw out points and, um, uh, but I'll have you email me to get those points. And, uh, if we do make anything out of a Twitch cast, uh, for a quiz, that uh, those things will, will be recorded. You can watch them, and if I ever make a quiz out of this, you just go take the quiz on Moodle. You don't, you don't have to do anything on Twitch. We don't need to know any of your personal information for you to be here on Twitch, so you can be completely anonymous and make up whatever name you want for yourself or your account here on Twitch. Okay, thanks for the question, first time chatter, Halo Star Max. Another first time chatter from Ooh Tang. Uh, says, W's in the chat. W's in the chat? W's. Okay, I, is W for winner? I think winners are in the chat, Utang. I think you're a winner. Poggers is what Utang follows up with. So I don't know what W or Poggers are. But again, Utang, don't fault me for my ignorance. I am decrepit and old and detached from the modern world. <laughs> uh, and I'm so old, Utang, when I'm pronouncing your name, all I can think of is Wu-Tang. And so maybe, and you already said W is in the chat. I'm just thinking... Wu-Tang, Wu-Tang, U-Tang says Wu-Tang. Uh, it's all good, 44. It just put up an awesome graphic of an octopus. I don't even know how the hell you did that, but it's cool as hell. Uh, Aiden, P uh, Aiden uh, P says that's true. I guess he's Aiden P is agreeing with Wu-Tang, I mean U-Tang. Uh, let's see, uh, can I gift for extra credit, ask uh, Wu-Tang. I don't know how you even do that or how we would gauge that. But give it a whirl. Let's see what let's let's see what happens. Sunny V says, "Can I make emotes for extra credit?" Oh, oh, oh okay. Now that I'm intrigued in. Uh, um, when you say make emotes, so uh, uh, Sunny V, are you talking about doing something completely and utterly unique that we can upload? Because I am interested in that. 
And I'll tell you why. The only thing that we can give away right now, if you subscribe or like or do whatever here, is a emote, emote of Putin, of Vladimir Putin that we have that uh, somehow Twitch didn't care about. When we tried to upload other world leaders we had emotes of, they said, no, you can't do that. That's a real person. And we're like, it's a cartoon. Who gives a crap? But they wouldn't let us do it. So, Sunny V, if you're serious and you can make emotes, email me and let's figure out what you can make in terms of emotes that look like world leaders or have something to do with like international organizations or anything that's topic appropriate for our class. If we can make emotes, I'll give you extra credit for that. So hit me up and let's talk. Uh, uh, let's see. First time chatter from The Legend 421. It says City of God was awesome. Very entertaining and engaging for over two hours. Thank you, The Legend. Uh, and thanks for your first time chat. Uh, let's see. It's all good. It says subs. Uh, Cat101684 says, have you gone to the City of God in one of the tours that you mentioned in the outro video? Yes. <laughs> we have. In fact, we still even use that um, that plaid cast that we did from uh, the Jesus the Jesus Monument. Have we ever used that? Let's use that. Because I almost got arrested doing that, so we should use that. Some, I, I did a, a very brief recording from atop the mountain with the big Jesus in Rio. And we did office hours from Rio one time, right? Boy, that was good. That was fun. Um, so, yes, I've been there, and we should have a recording somewhere. And Katie's going to find it. And just for you all, we're going to put it up for some funsies extra credit. Because I don't even think it was that long. I don't even think it was that topical. I think it was about Catholicism in, in Brazil. Uh, but thank you for asking, Cat101, and we will see if we can find that clip. First time chatter from MJ Nolan, 200271, who says, I just wanted to get clarification regarding working with other people in the class. To be clear, are we allowed to work with others on the quizzes and tastings, etc.? I was confused because the announcements say it's totally okay, but the syllabus says something about movie quizzes being completely individual. Just wanted to get clarification. Yes, uh, MJ, I think you text or uh, uh, emailed me earlier today, and I'm sorry I did not get a chance to respond to that email yet. But um, yes, I do encourage folks uh, uh, to work together in the wine class, but to a certain extent. And what I mean by that is um, I want you to be genuine. I want you to be real, mostly because I want you to learn. So... Yes, by working together, what I'm suggesting for wine class is when it comes to tastings, uh, wine and cheese pairings, wine and, and, uh, and dinner, uh, visiting wineries, working on your uh, descriptions of wine, I really want you to work together. That's how it works best when you're tackling uh, how to talk wine is that you're tasting with other people and you're discussing it. You're saying, hey, I, get, I, get, I think I get this. I think I get like hints of, of cherry and other people be like, yeah, I get that too. Yeah, and it's like, uh, oh yeah, it tastes like Captain Crunch. Yeah, I get a little bit of that. So uh, 100%, I really want you to work together on tastings and blog stuff. With this caveat, your blog is your own and we do use programs to cross-reference all blogs. So... I want you to work together on it, uh, and you can even write them together uh, 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 when you're doing your tasting and, and stuff like that, but your words are your own, and your blog is your own, so you do not get together with five or six of your friends, and you all collectively write one single blog, and then all five of you put it on your blog. No, 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 and we will bust you for that, so you do have to have your own pictures, and you do need to describe things in your own words now when it uh, especially for the blog stuff but really i want you to work together to actually talk to each other and do stuff together i'm telling you it's the best way to learn that material and it's a learning that you will remember for life it's like riding a bike as soon as you if you do everything i tell you to do in this class it's like riding a bike you might not drink wine for 10 years and you'll come right back to it and be able to talk about it and know it and have confidence in what you're doing and that's what I uh, want you to get out of this class. When it comes to the other activities, um, sure, you can watch lecture materials together and 
You can even watch films together. But I don't want you to collectively be taking the test together, <laughs> meaning don't all sit around a computer and uh, a one at a time go take it and then all of you collectively uh, be like, no, that's not the right answer. No, this isn't like watching Jeopardy on TV and you're all guessing uh, uh, together in a room. Do uh, take the exercises seriously. Uh, uh, view them together. Chat about them. Uh, yeah, interact as much as you want. But do kind of take it on your own. Because, by the way, there are question uh, pools. So you're not always going to get the same 10 questions on any given quiz. And, and what I would consider, the only thing I really consider cheating in wine class is that somebody takes a, a, a quiz on a video lecture and then prints it out and then gives all the answers to everybody. And then you go with the cheat sheet and then you don't go watch the lecture. You don't go watch the film and you just have your cheat sheet. That's really cheating. You just don't, don't rob yourself of knowledge uh, for the sake of getting an A. Uh, because here's where here's where a dad lesson's getting ready to happen. Why are you in college? Are you in college to get an A? Because once you go out in the rest of your life, in, out in the real world, and you get a job, and you go out to dinner, and you're dating this nice girl or guy, and you're going to a restaurant, and they know about wine, and they uh, want to engage you about wine, and you are dumb as hell because you just got an A in a class that you cheated in. That's of no value to you, all right? You don't come to college to get an A. You come to college, you come to the university to better yourself, to gain knowledge that helps you lead a better life. Knowledge in my courses will help you lead an enriched, better life. Getting an A won't. The knowledge will. The A isn't worth shit once you leave Virginia Tech. The knowledge is with you for life. So come to Virginia Tech to gain the knowledge in these classes that will help make your life better. Five years from now, you're not going to give a rat's ass if you got straight A's in your courses. You're just not going to even remember or care. If you care about your classes and care about bettering yourself, the knowledge is with you for life. And that's what we're here for. Okay, the public service announcement from Dad is officially over. Uh, let's get back to the chats. And by the way, there's so many chats I usually would have gone off on a tangent and started talking about a current event or a wine or something, but I'll, I want to answer all your chats. Uh, but starting next week for World Regions, I will likely uh, have a uh, international news story or three or four that I'll want to break the ice with and talk about. And I want you all to email me in advance saying, hey, I just heard about this thing going on in Ukraine, or I heard about something about Taiwan this week. Can you talk about that in office hours? That's what office hours will be for going forward. And for the wine class, if you have any questions or want to discuss a certain topic or want me to do a little extra material, if you want a whole little mini lecture on champagne or sparkling wines or the wines of the Rhone, just let me know and I will do that for wine class in a separate. We'll, we'll separate out the uh, office hours starting next week. But since this is still kind of early on in the semester, I just wanted to get people together to see if you like this format, if you want to participate in the future, and if you would like me to do more stuff on this on Monday or Sunday or Monday nights uh, that might even be for extra credit or for uh, a quiz that would be more credit if we develop out a whole little talk amongst us. So I'll keep answering the chats tonight, and then next week we'll I won't say get more serious. I'm going to be a goofball uh, next week, too, but we can talk more about particular content that you all will ask me about or ask me to elaborate more about. And I really base the online office hours on what you all want to hear and what you want to uh, learn about the rest of the world because there is a whole lot going on. I can't talk about every single thing that's happening in the world. Hell, I barely even...